Good morning, welcome to this new video, which for me is a pretty exciting video. Here we go. Let's see. So this is my new bike. It's a Focus Barrelane, so it's more an endurance and gravel bike. Perfect for the upcoming winter season because it has huge tire clearance and disc brakes. I already did a small ride on the bike yesterday, but today I'm taking it out, uh, going for a ride with time and to really see how it feels. So um, let's go outside. Okay, so the first 30 kilometers on the bike are in. Uh, first impression, it's a very nice bike. Diamond is like the furniture in the background. <laughs> Quiet, but there where you need it. Yeah, just something to look at. Where shall I start? The bike is super stiff. Uh, it's my first carbon bike. I rode a Kenyan Air Road at uh, Rafa some time earlier this year and that was also super stiff but this feels a little bit more comfortable it's less um, less aggressively stiff <laughs> than uh, than the air road what do you think you you rode on it as well uh, for 200 meters yeah yeah is it comparable i to think your it's bike? much uh, much it's, it's lighter than my bike but it's also smaller so that yeah. makes sense yeah but uh, is in terms of stiffness, yeah. how, how comfortable is it? Because this bike... It feels really good. Yeah. yeah. It's solid. Yeah, and it's it should be solid, it should be stiff, but yeah. it's also designed to be a little bit more forgiving for yeah. endurance rides. So there are comfort <laughs> improving areas, which should make the bike yeah, a bit less aggressive. So I really didn't feel like it was too stiff uh, on this, no. first, uh, this first ride. Also the zip wheels, they're uh, aluminum wheels, so I guess they could also be stiffer if they were carbon, but they feel very responsive. And yeah, the disc brakes, absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go over some of the specifics of the bike because I know most of you are nerds and you want to know exactly uh, what this bike is made with. Start in the back. The uh, tires. Vittoria Corsa Control, 28 millimeters. I chose the controls because I wanted to ride in the winter and bad conditions as well. And I chose Vittorias because they look bloody nice. <laughs> Wheels, their zip surface scores 30s. Uh, 30 millimeter high aluminum rims, pretty wide, I think 20 millimeters wide, uh, which makes for a very comfortable ride. They feel stiff enough, it's aluminum so it's not super crazy light, it's 30 millimeters so it's not super crazy um, aero, but I think for all round and also a bit of rough gravelish rides, this will do just fine. Yeah, and the tires sit perfectly on this wide range. Yeah, and the tires, they fit perfectly. The 28 millimeters with the 20 millimeter inner uh, rim width is, uh, yeah, it looks very nice. It fits, it fits perfectly. Then we arrived at the SRAM ETAP HDR rear derailleur. Uh, it's my first 11 speed bike. It's my first time, aside from the air road, riding with electronic shifting, and it's a dream. It's I, yeah, I would never want to ride without 
electronic shifting anymore. It's every shift is just perfect. Dead on. You can shift while uh, while riding. I can shift while sprinting. It's just always bang on. On it. Cranks. 127.5 No, 172 <laughs> 172 and a half millimeters 127 for your mini legs Because I have mini uh, <laughs> midget legs <laughs> New pedals Whoa. Very important for Jeroen uh, 310 grams for the pair <laughs> More fast guys As you can see, this is where all the cyclists go <laughs> Bars, they are Eastern Aero bars, super slick, super flat, uh, super fast, super fast, yeah, pretty damn comfortable. Then we're at the front. <laughs> Look, I have a Wahoo, Woo. element Wahoo. <laughs> Shout out to Wahoo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but I have to say, the bike is nice. But the most important thing, as Jeroen has taught us all is your legs because <laughs> you are the one that has to put in the effort it's not about the bike no, no. <laughs> shout out to Jeroen who's still in bed <laughs> who, was who was too lazy to get up this morning and go riding with us so uh, I'm gonna be riding the remaining races this season on it I think there will be one or two but then mainly on this bike I'm gonna do the entire winter season also the Festa 500, yeah. we don't really have any plans for that yet, so if you have any good suggestions, let us know. 500 kilometers in a couple days, I think we will probably want to do it in three days like last time, but if you have really crazy nice ideas to do it in longer or shorter, let us know. Hello, Hello. how are you today? Very good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he has friends everywhere. Is <laughs> like, uh, so let us know. And then one uh, thing that would be very exciting uh, that I'm planning with uh, Gordon is to ride the Stierke Proven in uh, June next year. It's a 500. <laughs> it's far away, right? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's far away, but it's 540 kilometer race. So you start uh, training, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So start training for more endurance. So I'm gonna try to do very long rides also this winter, um, mm. and. Maybe try with together with Frank to make this bike as aero as possible, so I can do endurance aero rides and I can <laughs> win this son of a race in Norway. contribution uh, to the vlog what I think it's the best content shot so far which one I just it's surprise uh, a surprise shot it's a surprise shot I'll see it when editing I have a surprise mosquito in my eye Bye Diamond! So uh, today is the day that I uh, give Martijn the opportunity to win all uh, sprints because he has a new bike so of course you should enjoy it to the fullest and think he's super fast 
Well, actually, he is super fast, so I can't keep up. Hey, look how fast he is, it's crazy!